So I know on the last Mickelson National Clubhouse update, I said I wasn't gonna provide another update until the clubhouse was finished, but I couldn't help myself. I wanna show you today the exterior of this building because I'm so excited on what we're doing. So I'm standing out in front of the front entrance. You've seen the entrance before. You're gonna see it again in the next video that we do. But I really wanna focus on the exterior of this building and some of the cool things that we've done on this building. For example, this natural quarried stone, all natural, not a fake stone. I wouldn't say that other stone is fake, but it's not natural, it comes from a quarry. And then the natural wood on the building too is a spectacular complement to the stone. And then I'm a big fan of contrasting colors and material types. So the roof of this building is a standing seam core tan still. I had a friend growing up from long ago that said, Barry, be involved in projects that stand the test of time. And that's definitely one of the hallmarks and things that I wanted to do at the Mickelson National Clubhouse. So not only is the building itself important, but what we do outside of the building, like the plant materials, the trees, the shrubs, the flowers that we're gonna have here at Mickelson National is really gonna set us apart from other clubhouses in the Calgary area. Let me take you around to the other side of the building so you can get some perspective on what the entire clubhouse will look like. One of the things that I think is really important when you're building new buildings is having different types of materials. You can see the rock retaining mall really complements the overall clubhouse itself. Of course, there's so many other things on this building. The patio behind me overlooks the ninth hole, the 18th green, and the first tee. So I know we're talking about the exterior of the clubhouse and the different materials we've used here at Mickelson National, but I had to stop myself because one of the things that I think is super important are gathering spaces. Where do people actually want to hang out when they come to a clubhouse? Right behind me right here is not only our patio, but we have a lower patio, which I believe will be in a spectacular place for people to be once they finish their round. This is the last stop of the exterior of the clubhouse. I wanted to show you our cart staging area where a lot of our members were gonna start their round before they get out onto the golf course. Right here behind me is the pro shop. Obviously you can see the lower part of your building where the carts will come in and out. And it's immediately adjacent to our first tee and our 10th tee. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. Don't forget we are gonna do a final update on the interior and exterior of the new Mickelson National Clubhouse. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate if you'd follow along if you're enjoying our content. If you have other ideas on what you would like to learn more about being a golf course owner or an operator, let us know in the comments below. Of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit that notification bell, that like button. We'll see you next time.